Welcome to ATP Report. I'm Barry Nussbaum. Our very, very special guest today is Brigadier General Reserve of the Israeli Air Force, Yaron Rosen. He's a contributor to ATP Report and a friend of our family, uh, joining us from Israel live on this beautiful evening. Uh, General, welcome. Thank you. Good evening, Barry. General Rosen, I want to ask you what's going on in Syria. We are seeing daily reports of both Air Force missions going into Syria, and I say Air Force, meaning the Israeli Air Force, of which you were one of the major generals there, uh, and as well the Army incursions um, and strikes with artillery and cannon fire uh, against Hezbollah sites in, uh, in southern Syria. Uh, what exactly are the targets and what is the mission from the Israeli side? Okay, that's a great, uh, great issue and, and, and big things are, are going on. Huge currents, huge waves, and actually even, I might say, even tsunamis. Um, there are two huge struggles which are going on, uh, which are in place now. One is the inter-Islamic struggle the Shiites against the Sunni uh, struggle. And the other one is the inter, the superpower struggle, which is overarching everything. Okay, so, and when I say superpowers, it's some, some of them is regional and some of this is global. Okay, so from all the way from US and Russia, all the way down to the regional players, uh, uh, Turkey and, and Saudi Arabia and Iran and Israel. Okay, so there are many, many struggles and many, many currencies. And, and what we're seeing here is another way, just like the COVID-19, okay? We thought that everything has ended, but actually what's happening now in the void of what, what's happening in Syria and in Iraq as well, the Shiite, uh, led by Iran, naturally, they are trying to revive the Shiite crescent after the pullout of the U.S., the U.S. pullout from northern and from Iraq, uh, essentially, and what we're seeing here are three uh, uh, big uh, currents. One is Israel uh, fighting against this Shiite advancement into the first into the first tier uh, on Israel's border. That's one thing. The second thing is the re uh, emergence of ISIS fighting the same area which the, the Shiite Iranian uh, militias are fighting and we're seeing on top of that the global struggle between the, uh, the regional players so you're, you're seeing the US and you're seeing the Russians and you're seeing the, the, the Turks and all this is creating this huge huge mess the missions which are carried out now uh, for the first uh, story I told you about, Israel just cannot afford to have the Shiites on its borders. It has already the Iranian division, which is called Hezbollah. Why is Israel so concerned about not letting Hezbollah on its border in the north? So the Iranian uh, division called Hezbollah, that's easy. Israel cannot afford another Hezbollah this time on the Syrian border. So Israel is just very, very insistent on uh, fighting and destroying everything which Iran is trying to build. And it's trying to build directly Iranian forces. That's one thing we're seeing. The second thing we're seeing is the Iranian support to the Syrian regime. And the third thing which we are seeing, which is amazing, is Iranian or Shiite militias all the way from Afghanistan. There is an Afghanistan, Afghani uh, militia on the eastern side of uh, Syria, which is also Iranian backed and fighting for Iranian uh, uh, interests. So this whole thing, uh, what we're seeing is just Israel hitting anything which is coming close to its border because Israel cannot afford these forces being on its border. Basically, that's what we're seeing. Thanks for joining us today. Special thanks to friend of ATP, General Reserves, Ron Rosen. Remember, 
do me a favor, take out your cell phone, text the word truth to 88202. The word is truth in the message line. Send it to 88202, push send, and you will be signed up for free to get all of our content for free on your cell phone, and you don't have to do anything. For ATP Report, I'm Barry Nussbaum. Thank <laughs> you.